Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go out to thrift stores or I go to estate sales or I sometimes buy things from Craigslist or go to garage sales and I try to find things that either make me feel happy or tell me a story and then I bring them home, find out everything I can about them and tell you guys about them. So here's what I got for you today. The one I have for you today is really cute. It's a pack of four. Okay, so what have we got here? What we have are these adorable little nesting egg cups. They are in the shape of geese or swans. Personally, I think they're geese. I've seen them called a few different things like duck, geese, swan. Basically, people are just kind of looking and going, hey, it's a kind of a whitish bird with a long neck. Because it's not white and because it's kind of yellowy, I maybe duck. <laughs> I don't know. I still think they're more like geese because every time I look at these guys, I kind of think of uh, Untitled Goose Game, which is what my daughter is obsessed with right now. So what we have here are a set of four. We have one cup, half cup, one third cup and one quarter. I'm going to turn them down sideways so that you guys can have a little look see at them. Now, I'm going to just be quick about this because of this. Let me give you, just give you the size of them. They're about, I guess, about seven inches across. That is about five and a half. That is about four and a half, I want to say. And the last one is just under four. So the heights are going to, going to be, well, they're going to be almost the same. I accept that guy's probably the highest. Let's just give you the height of the highest one. And he's about five, a little under five inches high. So these guys are just cute little things. I love them. They don't actually have any markings at all on the bottom. All of them just have the measurements. And that's it. So... So where did I get these from? I got these in a thrift store down in Surrey. Um, I paid, I think, $4 for the set because I saw them and thought, oh my God, they look just like the geese out of Entitled Geese Game or Entitled Goose Game. And I thought, you know what? Like my daughter's going to like, even if I don't sell them or anything, even if they're nothing, my daughter's going to absolutely freak out when she sees them. And she did. Like she thinks they're just the most adorable things ever. I don't think I actually need another set of like nesting cups or, or just, you know, measuring cups in general. I just, I just kind of love them. They're just so cool because the thing is, right, is that you can fill them and then they have the back here, the tail is this lovely little pouring spout. They're just such a clever little design. I just love it. Okay. So, so, so what are they? Now they're not actually that hard to find, even though they're unmarked. So they are from a company, they're from a company called JSNY. I have no idea what those initials mean. I can find out almost nothing about this company. This company is kind of known for doing these cute little mugs and animal figurines. And apparently they did a lot of tableware and stuff as well. They were active at some point in the 1980s, possibly the 1970s. But I literally can't find out anything about them. The only thing I find about, out about them is that they're from, they, they were working out of Taiwan. So I, that would kind of make sense that stuff like this would show up in Vancouver because obviously we've got, you know, we have a very big Asian population and this is, you know, stuff, weird stuff from Asia shows up here all the time. Oh yeah, here's the, what am I doing, sorry. JSNY Taiwan Ceramic Duck Measuring Cups. So they did this in ceramics as well, which I, I can't decide which one I like more. I think these ones are actually probably more usable. Oh, and these are actually melamine. And not just regular plastic. Now, having looked around online, um, there, the reason that I know this is JSNY is because there are versions of this cups in exactly the same shape and style that actually are marked at the bottom saying JSNY. So that's, so that's how we know, okay? It's just for whatever reason, these ones are not marked. I suspect they just might be a little bit, or like maybe a little bit older. Like, or at some point they were made and they decided, you know what, we're not gonna mark them. So I don't know, make it that what you will. It could also be part of another set. 
I don't, it, again, it is it's really, really hard to find any information at all about these guys. Uh, you know, it's, there's just, you know, all the listings I can find, all the information I can find in general, it's all just about the stuff that they made, not about the company themselves. Like, there's just, and to be honest, in fairness, a lot of it is incredibly cute and all of it is labeled as vintage. You know, when I, a lot of the, again, it's the, the Google consensus, I'm pretty sure that people are just kind of guessing. <laughs> yeah, here we go. If I go back up here. There you have it. Here are the different styles. So they definitely did them in like just plain white, and here's the ones that they did that are the same as these ones. And you can see, well, that one's kind of a blurry picture, but that's the one that says like, it says like half a cup and then JSNY. It's a little bit better. Or maybe not, you can just barely see it. Vintage nesting geese measuring cups, JSNY, I mean. Yeah, so there's just, even now, there's just, there isn't a whole lot here. <sighs> well, I mean, what can you do? For 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 companies like this that would have been active in like in the 80s and everything and weren't especially well known or high in brands, I guess, no one really cared about writing this stuff down or, you know, it's just the stuff there, the, the kind of, the things that they produced show up years later and now we have almost no information to go on about who actually made them or what they were doing or what their deal was. Anyway, what we have right now these little measuring cups are just incredibly adorable. <laughs> that was the reason why I got them. I just looked at them and thought, oh my god, that is a great idea. I love them. So what am I going to do with them now? I, I'm, I'm undecided. I'm going to leave it up to my... I'm going to probably leave it up to my daughter. Um, if she continues to be obsessed with Untitled Goose Game, I'll probably keep them so that, you know, we can do baking with her and and we can use these, obviously, because she's going she's gonna to get a kick out of that. Um, otherwise, I'll be putting them up on eBay. Um, if you actually want to sell these, because people like them so much, they're actually worth about thirty to forty dollars Canadian. So that's not a bad, you know, it's not a bad return. And I definitely feel if you're in a thrift store, go take a look at the plastic section. There's sometimes really interesting stuff there that people will completely ignore because it's plastic. They think it's worthless. But I mean, obviously, these guys are worth picking up. So, so there you have it. This is my small joyful thing for today. I hope you like it very much as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.